Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player. Mitch plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. And today, well, since last episode we built that big old epic flower farm, I felt like the villagers over here were getting a little bit neglected. They may have been, you know, starting to revolt a little because they weren't getting the same amount of love as they were. So I've just been doing a little bit of pre-planning here while catching up on my YouTube subscriptions. We've got, you know, that building set up right there that's on the way. I'm going to put something else right here and something really long right here. Maybe two short buildings. I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, lay the blocks out, see how things look. Like, we've got this awkward space right here now. But I thought, well, we might bring the beach up this way. I'm not sure. did that guy already use this bed? Dang it. Well, that's a little, another little bit of detail I added here. Went ahead and put this here so it looks like a barrel. And these sweet berries, like, maybe all mushed together. Thought that kind of looked cool. It's a little bit of detail. And then we added in the butcher's uh, smoker in right here. He's got a little bed to sleep in. So he should just hang out in this little area and do butcher-like things, I would assume. Let's see. Now let's play the game of can we find a bed to sleep in? And nope. That bed's... Oh, thank you. I will sleep there. But that's not the only thing I've been working on. I didn't spend a couple hours on just adding a bed and a smoker. No, no. Not even on adding stacks of uh, blocks over here. No, that's not all I did. Let me show you. I'll head off this way. I finally added in some interior design, I guess you could say, to the map maker's building right here you know that upstairs area has been empty and dull and boring to look at for so long and i keep looking at it thinking eh i'll come back to it eventually eh maybe next episode eh maybe some other time but some other time is now it's now guy hey look at me what are you doing yeah i'm talking to you okay so let's take a quick look inside here I like what we did downstairs here. I tried to carry that theme along. And then a little bit of things have changed in here. We've got lighting right here now, which will make sense in a minute. And uh, what else did I add down here? I think there's a little bit of lighting added in here the same way. Yeah, right there, a little square of lights over the bed. I think that looks really cool. I'm happy with the way this whole thing, you know, it just feels like the whole theme is carried out throughout the building, which is kind of, hard to do sometimes. We got that little closet there. But now onto the new stuff. We head upstairs here. You can already see it looks different. Well, bam Check this out. We've got this pumpkin sitting on a plate. I wish that didn't look glitchy when you walked up to it. I've seen other people do that and it doesn't. But I don't know what the deal is there. Well, we've got like a tiny bedroom back this way. Just pretty much has a painting and a bed. And then if you walk back in here, we got a carpet right here, which is one of those lights that you saw. And then coming in here, well, looks like it's gonna be rather busy. I'm assuming these villagers really like this area. Yeah, check it out. They are loving it. They're over there in the kitchen area. Just cooking up a storm. Over here, we got another little table, a chest. Some of the random bits of armor I had laying around. I put down a whole bunch more beds up here. Hopefully encourage some more breeding and stuff. And then yeah, we got like a little lounge area right here with a ceiling fan, which I thought was kind of cool looking. And then your standard Minecraft kitchen with all the things you know and love. We've got like a stove oven area over here, which actually goes all the way up to or over the roof it has a little bit of smoke coming out. We got cabinets up here with the barrels. And then we've got a fridge. We've got a sink. And one of those little foot mat things that you put in front of the sink. We've got a plate. Oh, I guess I shouldn't stand on the, the island bar thing here. See, I like how this looks a lot better. But you can't really do it if you use a lot of item frames anywhere else in the room. Because then it looks like, you know, weird. But right now, that kind of looks like a plate with some pork on it. We got a little towel over there, hay in the corner. I'm just really happy with the way this turned out. It was just like a lot of 
and let's try this. Yeah, well, let's try this over here. And it's really hard to do something with one of these big open rooms. But I started looking up like loft apartments and stuff like that. And mainly just added in this main big wall right here. And it all sort of just fell together. Where you kind of design all the interior stuff to be focused towards the middle and go out. Rather than worry about room sizes and all that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way all this turned out. Now, we got to find another project to work on. This part of the island over here has been empty for so long, it feels good to get some building done over here. We got this little pathway here that goes back over to the mushroom farm. And then if we go down here, we got a little pathway here that leads over to where the whole portal cave area is, where the nether portal is inside there. And right here, I was thinking we could put up a little tent. So that way, whenever I run out of the nether portal, out here and if it's night time you know i can just run over here get in the tent go to sleep and it'll be daytime so i thought that would be pretty cool i'm gonna let's see i've kind of got the basic frame laid out here that i wanted to work with kind of think you know staying with the theme of the island with the jungle wood but as far as wool goes i think we'll use green wool kind of shape the rest of this out I put the foundation down here I wish we had wool slabs like I feel really good if we just put some wool slabs right there I don't know it sounds like it's raining outside too in real life <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go up maybe like let's do like this and then we'll shape it up like that Bring it over to here. And yeah, then we need to build another part of the frame over on this side. But let's see. If we go up there, then jump up. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's try that again. Get up there. Stop. And then if we bring it up, two more here maybe? It's all about experimenting with it. And like, I think I want to bring it out here a little bit more. That might work. But let's, let's see what this looks like. If we bring it out there. Then on this side. I'm going to climb up the scaffolding. And yeah, it's not going to leave much room on the inside of this. Maybe we can find areas where we can bring it back out. Then across the top, I want to do maybe a slab. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I don't mind it. I just wish it was more kind of circled off in some places. Like here. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. So we could do like three in the middle. Maybe do that same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take some playing around with here. Now here's a nice aerial view of what we've been working on here. I like the framework here, going up and down, and then across to the back the same way. It's very simple, but I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. As far as finding the right shape of this, too. Let's try to fly down and add it. There we go. I like it, though. I think it's really cool. We walk up here. We're kind of mixing the sand in with the coarse dirt. It seems like this would be trampled down more the more you're inside of here. And this side looks relatively the same. Actually, it looks exactly the same. And then I left a little hole here on the side for a window. We'll get there. First, I was wanting to play around with maybe adding just a little bit of carpet down here. Just to kind of make it look like uh, the foundation of this is kind of coming down. Like we stretched it over the ground, maybe. Do something like that. How does that look? Yeah, I like that okay. I think it makes sense. And if we did the same thing, can we really do the same thing on this side? No. 
Because it's like just pushed right up against this cliff side. So we're not going to worry about that part. Another thing is we have this weird little one block space here. And I don't know if I want to cover that up with wool or not. I have to wait and see what decorating the inside of that looks like. But I do know I have some more fences. So I want to bring a fence all the way down this back side. Two, three, four. Just to kind of help add to the foundation there. Oh, and that's going to be a hover block there. And you grab a slab to put there. And we're going to have the same problem on this side. We do that. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. We just got to grab a little bit of wood from inside here. Um, let's just grab this. Where's... Because once I get started on something like this, all of my blocks just seem to disappear. There we go. That'll be more than enough to finish that off. We just add that what, right here. Yeah, and that doesn't make it look too bulky, I don't think. So I want to add buttons in there too, maybe. What's this librarian guy doing out there? Hey. Er. This is how I lose villagers. And they just end up eventually wandering out into the ocean. And I'm assuming they're getting eaten or something. But let's get this side done. This is the only part that I don't like. It has like this weird... Like one block space right there. But any other thing I did there, I didn't really like how it looked. Let's look at this side again. Yeah, I think if we throw some buttons in, I mean, we could even kind of put... Like, I don't think we'll ever go out this side. So what does it look like if we just kind of cover this like that? Hmm. And does that come all the way down here? Now it kind of matches up with that one, but that'd look weird. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like that for now and see how I feel. Then maybe add this in as like a foundation thing here. That could be cool. But while it's night time, I want to grab this bed and put it inside. Let's see. We want to just kind of center it right in the middle. Or justify it to the left or the right. Let's see if this works. Just put a little bit towards this side here. And hopefully we don't spawn in that one block space. And... Aha! It works. Okay, cool. Let's put some fences in these. That looks kind of cool. And then maybe use the trap door on top of it. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's adding like another level of detail here. I'll really enjoy. Let me do the same thing on this side. Put this here. Put that there. Yeah, this is shaping up quite nicely. All right, we got ourselves a handful of sea pickles because everything looks better with sea pickles here. I don't know what I'm going to do once we move away from this area and I can't use sea pickles as decoration anymore. It's just the my favorite little detail block to add around here. Like, see, we can just go bloop, 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 bloop. Maybe add another one back there. And it just looks good. No matter where you put them, they always look good. Speaking of looking good, I think this tent is just about done. I moved all of our temporary storage from over here to inside over here. I have a chest down, kind of buried, it's almost like buried treasure here. Or at least that's what I was going for. And then we have the bed, we have the crafting bench. We have light up here, kind of dangling from a fence up there. And all in all, I think this looks really good. We added in some buttons. We've got some bushes on the side over here. Let's look at it from this angle over here. I have no clue what happened to that librarian. I'm assuming he's still trying to get in somewhere. But we got this going on over here. It looks really cool. I'm liking it. But I think I'm probably out of time for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. There you go. 
and I'll see you guys next time.